Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando's Tuck and O'Neal with Mike Tuck. I'm Jerry O'Neal. Dude could use a shave. Got the football back out. Mike, uh, one of our objectives every week is to look at the college schedule and find us an upset winner. Right. Last week, I threw out a bunch of stuff against the wall. Only one thing stuck. So, congrats. What, what stuck? Tennessee beating Georgia. That's the only thing that stuck last week. So, my who, apologies. Who was your big pick last week? I'm missing the other week. ones. Northwestern. How'd that? How'd that? Uh, that wasn't even close. You know how it was. That was the Michigan. <laughs> that wasn't even close. When, so when Northwestern scores, we're going to do will better be, this week. It will be the first. Yeah, okay. I mean, of course. Now I had Georgia Tech winning at Clemson. That was close too. So nah. you don't want to necessarily bet on these, but we're going to give you some upsets anyway. I so, got one. All right, I, I wrote down two because I like them both a lot. I think Oregon as a three-point dog on the road against Washington. People are selling on the Ducks because they lost last week, blew a 10-point lead at home against Washington State and lost in double overtime. Washington, very good defensively, not so much on the offensive side. Ducks will just go on the road and outscore them. A bit of an overreaction to see them as an underdog this week. I was surprised. And the other one, right. I'm going to go A&M at home, four-point underdog to Alabama. The Tide always get the love from Vegas, and deservedly so with their record through the years. But I think A&M's passing game, I think like Ole Miss, a team that relies on throwing the football is one that can have success against Alabama. So I think they're going to see a lot of passes in the air. I think you're going to see some big plays out of Texas A&M and a defensive pass rush. If they can get upfield and get after Jake Coker, cause him some headaches, I think uh, A&M's able to hold serve at home in Alabama with two losses. Well, wow, that would be uh, a reminder that uh, in a different day, but a year ago, Alabama beat A&M 59-0. Uh, the two years previous, it was Johnny Football played, obviously, quarterback there. The upset at Brian Denny, the first in 2012, and then a 49-42 Bama win over A&M in 2013. Good picks. Interesting. Uh, I agree with you on the Oregon. I don't know about the Alabama. I'm, I'm not going to – I just look forward to seeing that game. My upset pick this week – is the maze and blue okay they haven't allowed a point you're picking them to go down yeah michigan state goes into the big house wow. and and quote upsets michigan seeing's believing i just think that that bubble's gonna burst a little bit it's gonna be close gonna be uh, i think a, a, a low scoring dog fight that most believe will happen but i'm gonna pick michigan state on the road at michigan Good to kind of stop that mojo. Sparty's going. been really good as an underdog. I read four out of the last five they've covered as an underdog. The so other that's one, a good one. The other one, I'm headed to Temple on Friday. UCF's got a little bit of stuff to get fixed. <laughs> UCF beats unbeaten Temple, oh, who's trying to get to the top 25 for the first time since he was in diapers. Temple hasn't been in the top 25 since 1979, and they're not coming through this dog this week. To get there. How's that taste? Three touchdown underdog, UCF. We are Didn't think O'Neal. I'd see that this year. Three to six weekdays. Sports Talk. 1080 the team. Orlando.